Hello and welcome to a new episode of World Today. We are joined in the studio by Mr. Marwan Yunus, a political analyst, to speak about the latest updates and headlines in the news. Hello, Mr. Marwan, and welcome to our show. Thank you. We have the first um, headline in the news today, which is Sisi, first Egyptian president to attend Coptic Christmas uh, Mass. The item says that President Abdel Fattah Sisi attended the Coptic Christmas Mass to mark the first attendance ever made by an Egyptian president to the religious uh, occasion. The Sisi arrived at San Coptic Orthodox Cathedral in Cairo's Abbasia district during the Mass and gave a brief speech before leaving uh, instantly. What's uh, your explanation for such a visit by the Egyptian president? First, we like to say uh, Merry Christmas to all our fellow uh, Christians in Egypt. Second thing about the visit which uh, uh, from President Sisi, it's very important at this part of time uh, to declare to everybody that Egyptian will be united in uh, the coming phase and the upcoming uh, scene of election will be always united and will be always voting for the, our civic state which we believe in and we are living in the civic state for a long time. Uh, to be the first president to do this it's a new protocol that he did make because uh, the past presidents uh, never make it in the they make it after or before the mass they go and say uh, they send their congratulations but at this part of time uh, it's a message uh, for the interior and the exterior they are sending to all uh, to everybody that we will stay together uh, there is no difference between uh, muslim and uh, christian we are in a civic state uh, and we will go on uh, forward in our uh, plan and uh, in this coming election also. Okay, moving to the daily news where we have Egypt to send two winter supplies to Tunisia. Uh, Egypt will send two military cars to Tunisia carrying winter supplies as Defense Minister Said Isobhi ordered according to a statement by the armed forces on their official uh, Facebook page. The airplanes uh, will carry blankets, food supplies <coughs> and heating materials to help Tunisians face conditions. Sir, um, is Tunisia really in need for uh, winter supplies? Are they in that need? I don't uh, think that uh, they are in that need, but uh, it's a political move from my point of view to declare that Egypt uh, is back. We are the biggest country in all the Arab region. Also, mm -hmm. we are the country who is having the most efficient army uh, also in the region. We have a role not only inside to be, uh, to, to have uh, economy, a great economy that we wish for, uh, to have uh, influence on people. No, ma uh, Egypt must influence also the Arab countries. We, all, we are all in transition stage. We must have a leader and we are getting into this position. Sending something to Tunisia, uh, what, uh, whatever we will send, uh, the, I guess the Tunisian state have the power uh, to, to, to do these things, but uh, we must say that we are with the new government also. But, but why we send? Election, why, why we make it as a um, we send something? They they really it's not something much diplomatic. In, in need. We did send something to the United States before when they have some crisis. Uh, all countries are sending to others just like a diplomatic move to say we are with you. Not but why of not the a diplomatic move making? For example, a project with uh, Tunisia. This is another diplomatic and, yes, and you important have, move. You have uh, many fields to do these things. Maybe you can do project with economy. Maybe you can do coalition with armies. Maybe you can do uh, say. Uh, maybe you can arrange some uh, uh, things with the diplomatic uh, in the United Nations. For example, these things are just like uh, we are there with you. We are with this government, and we are. We will try to help this government. Uh, for in the future. Uh, it's not bad to, to do these things. Big countries do this all the way. Uh, and it's our role to say to everybody also to send this message that we are there, we are back to be leading this uh, region. So uh, it's not about two planes that will solve the problem in Tunis or in Tunis are in need of these two planes. But this message is needed everywhere that we will be with Tunis in the coming stages. This is what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. It's not the issue of blankets or uh, some heating material. Yeah. It's not these things. The thing is the message that the new government for in Tunisia, we are with this government. We will help them after the blankets. We will be with them economically. We will be with them 
diplomatically, we politically also will have the same international situation soon. This is what I believe in. So it's not about blankets. It's about uh, it's all about Egypt is regaining its uh, normal situation in the Middle East. As we all see, Egypt now uh, with the uh, uh, Egyptian army, we are fighting terrorism in our area alone. We are fighting it in Sinai. We are we are helping the Libyan also logistically. We are for training for the army, uh, giving them some political cover, uh, international for the, the the army that uh, fighting the militia there. So it's it's the new Egypt is coming. Maybe it's now it's blanket, but I guess that in the future it will be a lot more than Another blanket. message. Yeah. Okay, um, uh, moving to the Washington uh, Times where we have the headlines, Turkish Airlines suspends flights to Libya's uh, Misrata. Turkish Airlines, the only foreign airline still flying to Libya, suspended its flights to Misrata over concerns about worsening security in the country. A Libyan warplane from forces loyal to the internationally recognized government bombed a Greek-operated oil tanker anchored offshore, killing two crewmen in an escalation of a battle between the country's rival um, faction. How do you estimate the uh, situation in uh, Libya where we're now moving to another, uh, I believe, important step? They are attacking the oil uh, ports where the militias are controlling these uh, oil uh, ports. How do you see the situation there now? The situation there is still a mess and it's getting bigger with time. Uh, no one can control the, the ground in Libya because of two things. They are a tribal state. The, each tribe have uh, uh, they have something, something maybe with the militias. They have some economy going there or some trade with them. Some of them are with the state. This is a big mess there because Gaddafi, when he left, he just insisted that Libya is tribes getting together. Mm -hmm. This is what we gain of, of his point of view. Now these rebels are attacking the oil tankers because they want the money of the oil tankers to be there only uh, alone for these militias why they want to have money to get more weapons and to get more power even to threat other countries the situation there is related totally to syria what's happening in syria and the three years that declared uh, from the dc office they're saying that we have three years fighting the terrorism i don't know how they they are getting it too long with this time, these militias will gain money and power and effect and the weapons, and maybe they will uh, transfer terror to other countries. So it's a situation that we all must look deeply. What to do in Libya? It's related, yes, to Syria, but we cannot wait another three years as a, for a fight that very slow there and wait uh, till the Libya will come. Uh, big threat to everybody and then we will fight in Libya and then we will fight to another country. This uh, putting the, the area into a mess, it's uh, uh, what I believe in, it's, uh, it's a need for some countries like Israel also uh, now as the United States, I don't know why, why, why they are waiting so long for the Daesh and also let's go back, uh, 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 let's see something, in, uh, when they say that the Daesh from years ago they are saying that they are fighting for freedom and now they are terrorists these uh, international situation that of the united states totally affected us and affected other countries egypt must go there not with the army must help totally the the, the, the new army that they are building because without this army the situation the, will affect yes, the whole be, region we must go into libya and we don't believe it's our role to go in other and have wars there. But Chris, from your own point of view, what do you expect the situation will head to? How do you see the future sadly, of Libya? Sadly, I'm looking at Libya for uh, three countries, uh, re uh, the born of three countries different, to, uh, and also three countries not in a good terms with each other. The South will be very uh, with the others. They are re related to other countries, African armies, African countries, uh, the East will be related somehow to Egypt. You believe it's going to be divided? Uh, 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 the situation now tells that, that it will be divided. Maybe the situation will change with time. Maybe. The change must be firm change uh, and the tribes get together. They na must have uh, a national state. They, are, they don't, uh, until now, they don't believe in national state. They, don't, they only believe in tribes and uh, how they gain power for each tribe of them. They must have a decision. You want the national, 
you want a real state in Libya, or you you want to live at the time of Gaddafi, but uh, with other Gaddafi. This is what we don't need, to, uh, we don't want to, to happen. But uh, they must to decide, the Libyan themselves, because if they leave the situation like that, everything will be, uh, uh, Egypt also will be affected by the situation. About Turkish airline, I want to send a message to Turkey. Why the Turkish airline is the only uh, foreign or Western airline, airline going into Libya? Because they are in a very good terms with the uh, terrorists. Yes, this is what happened in Syria. This is what happened. We see all over. We must tell the Turkish government it's not, again, uh, yeah, it's not good that you say in media that you are with uh, against terror. You don't want terror, and on the ground you are helping them everywhere to have your also khilafah state which uh, Turkey was leading. This is the